Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the best 15 RPG games for 2023, so let's get into it, enjoy watching. Begin with number 15, Starfield is an actual role-playing game developed by Bethesda Game Studios and published by Bethesda Softworks. It was announced during Bethesda E3 presentation in 2018. The game takes place in space-themed setting, and it is the first in new intellectual property. Developed by Bethesda in 25 years, the game was released for Windows and the Xbox Series X and S on September 6, 2023. Starfield received a generally positive reviews from critics with a particular price for its urban world setting and a soundtrack through the story divide critics. And for the gameplay, the player can switch between a first person and a third person perspective anytime. Starfield features an urban world in the form of an arena within the Milky Way galaxy, containing both factional and non factional planetary systems, the player is able to land on more than 1,000 planets and an unspecified number of moons and space stations. Number 14 The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is a 23 action-adventure game developed and published by Nintendo for the Nintendo Switch, the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2017. Tears of the Kingdom retains aspects including the open world of Harold, which has been expanded to allow for more vertical exploration. The player controls Lynx as he searches for Princess Zelda and fights to prevent the Demon King from destroying the world. Apparently, the game received critical acclaim for the improvements, expanded open world and features, encouraging exploration and experimentation. It sold more than 10 million copies in the first three days of the release and it over 18.51 million copies by June 2023, making it one of the best selling games on Nintendo Switch. And for the gameplay, players explore Harold and two new areas, the sky littered with the numerous floating islands and the depths to find weapons, resources and complete quests. Link can explore on foot or by climbing, riding on horseback and using a paraglider. For number 13, we've got Diablo 4, it's a 2023 online-only action role-playing game developed and published by Blizzard Entertainment. It is the fourth main installment in the Diablo series. Announced at Blizzard Con 2019, the game was released on June 5, 2023 for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S and X and Microsoft Windows. Players can create a character from one of five playable classes. Barbarian, Druid, Necromancer, Rogue, or Sorcerer and use their skills to complete quests through combat. Diablo 4 received a generally positive reviews from critics who praised the game, narrative, and atmosphere. The game granted 666 million in revenue within the first five days after launch. For number 12, we've got Honkaya Star Rail, a role-playing gacha video game developed by Mihoyo, published by Mihoyo Mainland China, and worldwide by Congo Sphere. It was released on April 26, 2023, for Windows and mobile devices. Port for PlayStation 5 is planned with the Q4 released window, while the PlayStation 4 version is still yet to be announced, as revealed at the last summer game feast with a trailer. It is the fourth installment in the Honkai series, drawing on characters from Honkai Impact 3rd and gameplay elements from Genshin Impact. And for number 11, we've got Monster Hunter Rise, is an actual playing video game developed and published by Copcom for the Nintendo Switch, the sixth mainline installment in the Monster Hunter series. It was released worldwide in March 2021, with Windows port released in January 2022, and the expansion pack Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak was released in June 2022. Port for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and S were released on January 20, 2023, and the Sunbreak expansion followed on April 28th that year. Rise follows many of the new conventions established in Monster Hunter World, while also introducing new features and mechanics including a new animal campaign called Palamut that can be used to ride across the map or into a battle. And for number 10 we've got Final Fantasy XV is an actual role-playing game developed and published by Square Enix, the 15th main installment of the Final Fantasy series. It was released for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One in 2016 and for Windows in 2018 and as a launch title for Stadia in 2019. The game features an open world environment and an action based battle system, incorporating quick switching weapons, elemental magic and other features such as vehicle travel and camping. The base camping was a later expanded the developed Able Hunting DLC, adding further gameplay options such as additional playable characters and multiplayer. 
And for the gameplay, the players take control of protagonist Noctius Lucius Calium during his journey across the world of Eos while accompanied by his three companions, Gladius, Ignis, and Promoto. Noctius is the only character directly controlled by the player. He can negative through a movement, jump over small obstacles, sprint for a limited time, and perform a context-based action, such as taking a cover behind objects. And for number 9, we've got Tales of Arise, an actual role-playing game developed and published by Bandai Namco Entertainment for PlayStation 4 and 5 and for Windows and Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S. The 17th main entry in the Tales series, it was originally planned to release in 2020, but was delayed to September 2021 due to additional quality issues and the ability to launch the game on more platforms. It is also the first game of the series with the World Wild Simultaneous launch. The game follows a man and a woman from opposing worlds of Dana and Rina and their journey to end Rina's operation of the Diana people. And for number 8, we've got Mass Effect Legendary Edition is a compilation of video games in Mass Effect Trilogy, all the three seasons of Mass Effect. It was developed by BioWare and published by Electronic Arts. All three games were remastered with the visual enhancement, a technical improvements and gameplay adjustments. Mass Effect, the first game of the trilogy, received more extensive upgrades than it is counterparts, specifically with regard to graphics combat mechanics, vehicle handling, and loading times. And for number 7, we've got Cyberpunk 2077. is a 2020 actual role-playing video game developed by CD Projekt Red and published by CD Projekt. The player assumed the role of V, a mercenary, in the factional California city of Night City as they deal with the fallout from the highs go wrong that results in an experimental cybernetic biochip containing an enigram of legendary rock star. The game's development began following the release of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Blood and Wine 2016. The game was developed by a team of around 500 people using the Red Engine 4 game engine. CD Projekt launched a new division in a war club Poland and after years of anticipation CD Projekt released Cyberpunk 2077 for PlayStation 4 Stadia Windows and Xbox One on 10th December 2020 followed by PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S on 15th February 2022. For number 6, we've got Genshin Impact as an actual playing game developed by Mihoyo, published by Mihoyo in mainland China and worldwide by Kongosphere. It was released for Android, iOS, PlayStation 4 and Windows in 2020 and for PlayStation 5 in 2021 and is set for a release on a Nintendo Switch. The game features an enemy style open world environment and an action based battle system using elemental magic and character switching, a free to play game monetized through a gacha game mechanics. Genshin Impact is expanded regularly through batches using the games as a service model. Genshin Impact takes place in a fantasy world of Tayavyat, home to seven nations each of which is tied to different elements and ruled by a different god. And for the gameplay, Genshin Impact is an open world that allows the player to control one of four interchangeable characters in a party switching between characters can be done quickly during combat, allowing the player to develop different combination. And for number 5, we've got Final Fantasy VII Remake, is a 2020 actual role playing game developed by Square Enix. It is the first in a blend trilogy of games remaking the 1997 PlayStation game Final Fantasy VII, set in the dystopian cyberpunk metropolis of Midgar. Plays controls the mercenary Cloud Strife. He joins Avalancha and a group trying to stop a powerful mega corruption Shinra from using the planet's life. A sense as an energy source, the gameplay combines real-time action with role-playing elements. Remake was released for PlayStation 4 in April 2020. The game received positive reviews with the prize for its graphics, gameplay narrative and music. Critics prized the expanded story and the updated battle system for its strategic element. And for number 4, we've got Final Fantasy 16 is a 2023 action role playing game developed and published by Square Enix. It is the 16th main installment in the Final Fantasy series. It was released for PlayStation 5 as a limited exclusive. The game features segmented open environments and an action based combat system involving melee and magic based attacks. There are recurring series features, including 
a chocobs and summoned monsters called icons which are both fought as bosses and used through challenging their power in a combat. And for the gameplay, the players take control of protagonist Clive Roosevelt and rotating party all controlled companions through segmented open areas across the continents of Valastia, recurring the Final Fantasy elements such as the bird-like chocobo and monster types appear in the game following a story-driven prologue section. Clive is able to travel in different parts of Valastia. And for number 3 we've got Ghost of Tsushima, it's a 2020 action adventure game developed by Sucker Bunch Production and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. The players controls Jin Sakai, a samurai on a quest to protect Tsushima Island during the first Mongol invasion of Japan. Jin must choose between following the warrior code to fight honorably or using a practical but dishonorably methods of rebelling the Mongols with a minimal casualties. The game features a large open world which can be explored either on foot or on horseback. When facing enemies, the player can choose to engage a direct confrontation using Jin's katana or become legendary warrior known as the ghost by using stealth tactics. Assassinate opponents, a multiplayer mood titled Ghost of Tsushima Legends was released in October 2020 and made available separately in September 2021. The game was released for PlayStation 4 in July 2020 and expanded version for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 subtitled Director's Cut and featuring the IKEA Island expansion was released in August 2021. The game received positive reviews about release, the critics prizing the game's melee combat story, characters, performance and music, though it has received some critics from implementation of stealth gameplay and open world structure. And for number 2 we've got The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is a 2015 action role playing game developed and published by CD Projekt as a sequel to the 2011 game The Witcher 2 Assassins of the Kings and the third game in The Witcher video game series played in open world with the third person perspective. The game follows The Witcher series of fantasy novels written by Andriy Sapkuska. The game takes place in a factional fantasy world based on Slavic mythology players controls Geralt of Rivia, a monster slayer for hire none as a witcher and search for his adopted daughter who is on the run from the overworld wild hunt. Players battle the game's many dangers with weapons and magic, interact with the non-player characters and complete quests to acquire experience points and gold which are used to increase Geralt's abilities and Bursh's equipment. The game's story has their possible endings determined by the player's choices at the key points in the narrative. And for number one, we've got Elden Ring is a 2022 action role-playing game developed by From Software. It was directed by Hidetaki Miyazaka with world building provided by fantasy writer George R. Martin. It was released for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Windows, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and S. On February 25th by From Software in Japan and Bandai Namco Entertainment Internationally, a player's control a customizable player character who is on a quest to repair the Elden Ring and to become the new Elden Lord. Elden Ring is presented through a third-person perspective. Players freely roam in interactive open world. The six main areas are traversed using the player character's stead. Toronet as the Burmany mode of travel and linear hidden dungeon can be explored to find a useful items. Players can use the several types of weapons and magic spells including non-direct engagement enabled by stealth mechanics throughout the game's world. Checkpoints enable fast travel and allow players to improve their atrubius using an in-game currency called Runes Elden Ring has an online multiplayer mode in which players can join each other world for a cooperative and player versus player combat. And that was it for this video. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.